winning by 20 points. But the craziest thing was probably the coaching change at Notre Dame. They barely had time to send up puffs of white smoke before the Irish had their new coach. You know what's perfect? President of Notre Dame, Father John Jenkins, was in Rome, the shadow of the Vatican, when he issued the statement about Marcus Freeman being the head coach. So the players had lobbied. They'd gone to the wall wanting Marcus Freeman. Here's the strength coach, Matt Bayless, introducing Irish's new head coach. So what I'm going to do now, okay, because you're brand new head football coach. <laughs> 35 years old, came from Cincinnati, just finished his first season as a defensive coordinator at Notre Dame. And what an impression. He made on everybody at Notre Dame, both players, the administration, and now he is the head coach of the Fighting Irish. Pleased to have Marcus Freeman join us right now. Marcus, that video that's gone viral, I want to know what it was like for you and the moments before you went out to greet the team, thinking about how quickly this had happened and going out to see your team as a head coach. It was a surreal moment. Uh, it seemed like hours waiting to be able to go embrace uh, the team. And it was just good to be able to finally go out there and hug them and be around the guys and make sure that they knew we're in this thing together. Marcus, on behalf of several several Ohio State people, going all the way back to Dayton, Ohio, you're a Wayne Warrior. So many people are happy for you, so congratulations. The, the message at this point for your team, when today we don't know what could happen. Notre Dame could end up in a great bowl game. Notre Dame could end up in a playoff. What are you doing with your staff to just try to kind of steady the ship and get them focused on what still can be done this year? Well, as I said to him yesterday, the, the whole narrative right now is future, future. You're the head coach of, head coach of the future, and, and my focus is right now. My focus is this team. My focus is this coaching staff and this football program. All of our efforts, all of our intentions are finishing off this season the right way. And everything we have to do is making sure that we send these seniors and we send these group of guys out uh, with a victory and in the right way. Coach Freeman, uh, congratulations on the head coaching job. That's magnificent. I wanted to ask you a quick question about who has been some of your mentors as far as coaches are concerned in, in this space? Well, I think it starts with the, my college football coach being Jim Trestle. And uh, Coach Trestle was an unbelievable leader, unbelievable mentor for me as a young person. And, you know, I went to uh, Purdue and Kent State with Daryl Hazel that had a huge impact. And then the last four years being with Luke Fickle. Um, Luke Fickle was my college football coach, uh, position coach, and also the head coach of Cincinnati when I was there the past four years. And, and every one of those coaches have had a huge impact on me and who I am. I take bits and pieces of all of them, but at the end of the day, you've got to be who you are and you've got to embrace who you are, and I'm going to lead the way I am. Marcus, you've been around coaching changes. You've seen this, how, how it can go down. You're now the head man. How big of a deal was it to retain the staff? A lot of guys could have left to go to LSU or other places. Once you were put in position, Tommy Reese is there as your offensive coordinator, continue to call plays, your strength coach is in position. How big was that to remain solid and unified and, and have that continuity? Well, it was so important. There's a reason why we've won 11 games this year, and it isn't because of anything other than the, the camaraderie we have as a team, um, the leadership we had and for me to come in and say I'm going to change things that's that's crazy and so I told the, the administration I want to keep this thing as steady as I can I want to make sure that as many people that have helped get us to this point stay here and that we can keep the same cycle going now now the challenge is going to be to enhance what we do now it's going to be to take this team to the next level and, I, and I'm excited for that challenge. Marcus, we thank you so much for spending time with us. There's so much talk about experience, but hey, some guys are just born to do it. Think of Bob Stoops, Lincoln Riley. We hope that you have that level of success. Best of luck tomorrow with the playoff and the rest, uh, rest of this season and the future. Marcus, thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.